Here now is the chairman of the Republican Party of Pennsylvania, Val DiGiorgio. Thank you so much for joining us. So Democrats are already claiming victory, saying that just by making it this close in a place that is such Trump country where Republicans should be winning, that they're really having a terrific showing. How do you respond to that? Well, they can have all the moral victories they want. They've had a few this year, but no actual victories in special elections for Congress. Uh, we think we're going to have a big day for uh, Rick Saccone. Connor Lamb doesn't represent the values of southwestern Pennsylvania. He's part of a party that's been anti-coal, um, that is part of a party that's against tax cuts, which are permeating throughout uh, paychecks all over the state and the nation. Uh, so we feel we've got the better candidate, the better message, and the candidate who best represents southwestern Pennsylvania. Um, you know, he's done everything he can to distance himself from the party. He's promised to be a completely different person. All politics is local. Maybe those voters believe him. Well, Chameleon Connor is trying to have it both ways in this race. On one hand, he runs, runs away from Nancy Pelosi, but he takes her money. He supports her statement that these tax cuts have been crumbs for workers' paychecks. Uh, on the, on the pro-life issue, uh, which is very strong in that district, he's tried to have it both ways. Uh, against, uh, uh, you know, against the build-out of outlawed abortions after 20 weeks, like most of the civilized world does. So he's been trying to have it both ways on a number of issues. Uh, again, he's a, a part of the party that is against what makes commuters like southwestern Pennsylvania uh, has uh, made them uh, have had problems. And he's part of the, yeah. you know, anti-coal agenda that the that the Democratic Party supports in southwestern Pennsylvania across the country. I noticed you used the phrase Connor the chameleon. You know the president prefers uh, Lamb the Sham, right? I mean, which one, yeah, well, which one, which one do you own. think it works better? I like, I, like, I like them both, but I think Chameleon kind of shows how he's whatever he needs to be in front of the crowd he's talking to. Yeah. Uh, Rick Saccone, Rick Saccone has uh, got experience. He's got, he's got a great resume, whether it's an international diplomacy, whether it's someone who's fought in our military, someone who's been in counterintelligence and served as a state legislator. And again, he's got the right values for Southwestern PA. When something's this tight, it comes down to voter turnout. What are you doing as part right. of the party to kind of make sure that turnout happens for your candidate? Well, we've got uh, hundreds of volunteers on the street today. We've had them all weekend uh, knocking doors. Uh, we've made about 180,000 phone calls, 25,000 door knocks uh, in a very short amount of time in this compressed, uh, this compressed election schedule. So uh, we're hitting the, and we have, you know, three or four different uh, groups redundant yeah. doing, the, doing the same thing. So we're making sure we're leaving no stone unturned. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow.